guys and welcome to another video by Chillin Vegan and Frodo. Hope you're having a wonderful, amazing day. It is insanely sunny and warm here in Brisbane today. So such a beautiful day, such an amazing weather. Don't you love winters like that when it's like 22 degrees outside? Okay, so today I'm gonna share a quick little video while my vlogs are still in process of being made but i should start having them coming out in the next couple of days so you'll get to see everything that happened on my way down to sydney and all the foods and all the hills and all the amazing beautiful nature i got to see but today i'm going to make a quick video about how to start off with cycling sorry i can't <laughs> decide on the different angle so how to start off with cycling let's go for top five things first five things you should probably do when you're choosing a bike or deciding to start off and see if it works for you. So number one would be deciding where you want to ride. So whether it is, so because that will identify if you want a mountain bike or if you want a road bike or if you want a hybrid ride. So hybrid is like in between, I suppose, between the two. When I was first choosing my bike, I was considering getting a hybrid to begin with, but the advice that I got given by in the specialized shop is that in reality like think about long term what is it that you want to do on a bike i always knew that i wanted to ride long distance and i wanted to ride on road i'm considering getting a mountain bike later on but my number one passion and love i just love riding on roads and i love road cycling so that for me was you know straight out this is the kind of bike i'm gonna get i'm gonna get a road bicycle um, if you have some trails around where you live or there's like lots of gravel roads and things like that you might want to get a mountain bike. The difference between a road bike and a mountain bike basically is different handles and different tires. So the road bike tires are thinner, they're like smaller um, area that touches the asphalt as well like bitumen with the mountain bike tires, they're like quite bulky and thick and they've got little like kind of prickles out of them, you can call them, so I don't know the correct wording and stuff like that, but um, as if, yeah, <laughs> but I will. Um, so yeah, basically, and the handles are different. I absolutely love road cycling and road bikes, it's amazing. Um, so okay, so you decided on a kind of bike and a kind of riding you want to do, and next thing to do is obviously go to a bike shop and get sized up definitely don't i wouldn't recommend buying a random bike online but if you're choosing to go that way and buying secondhand bike online definitely make sure that you're buying the right size so that you don't want the frame to be too small and you want it to run smoothly you want that bike to fit you so as well as getting the right frame of the bike and there is a difference between male and female bicycles as well so the handlebars are a bit wider for male bikes so it is depend if you're like a small female with like not very broad wide shoulders then you might not want to have a male bike because it'll be harder to ride and it will just hurt long term if you're spending hours and hours and hours on the bike so my bike is giant defy 20 2014 2014 or 2015 model 2015 model I think yeah and it's actually a male medium it's a male bike but because I have quite like broad shoulders it was a good fit for me so then when I grab the handlebars like nothing hurts it's not painful or anything so for me and if you got to spend planning to spend like 12 hours a day on your bike probably not to begin with but long term it's gonna affect you right and another reason why I suggest going to a bike shop and getting it sized up for you um, even if you did buy it online is that it will hurt less basically like they'll make sure that the seat is the right height they'll make sure that the handlebars are the correct and they'll, they'll just take care of all of it for you and it'll be much more enjoyable for you to ride so step number three I guess is finding a few cool routes not far from your house and it doesn't matter really what kind of length you start with as long as you start with any kind of length like you can start with a 5k or a 10k a day or every couple of days and over time the more you enjoy it, the more you do it like you're going to want to start exploring a bit more going different routes so when you first get your bike try going different routes occasionally just to kind of explore go 
rolling around, learn the neighborhood, learn around the suburbs or around, have some bigger goals. What I like to do is to print out some destinations where I want to ride. So in the beginning, very, very beginning, when I started out with the long distance, I had routes to Gold Coast, like the route to Gold Coast printed on my, and I, like I printed it out as a like color copy and I put it on my wall. And that would like, I look at it every day and that would inspire me to keep on training, to get better at cycling and just keep on going at it. And one day I just like took a plunge and did it. In fact, I did it maybe after two or three weeks owning my bike. So that was amazing. It was like my third 100Ks ride. And it was like, I remember the feeling that I got after I did that and it was like insane for me. But anyway, so definitely look at different routes. Um, Okay, I will talk about this. So step number four, thing number four to think about is you will get a sore butt, especially if you're not used to cycling. So what you want to do is get padded pants. I mean, it depends, of course, how long of a ride you go for, but you can also change the saddle. So you can buy a softer, or more cushiony saddle, but at the same time, you don't want to buy something big and bulky and get used to riding on that. One, it's going to be heavier, and two, it's just not really any need for it just get your bum trained up to for it to be really really comfortable riding in all sorts of different conditions and um, so basically the more time you spend on your bike the less your bike is gonna hurt and you know like I did over a thousand K's just last week and like seriously nothing hurts and it's incredible to me and it is and I give it up to I was wearing padded pants the whole way so it's basically cycling shorts or cycling leggings with like padded areas around like your butt in that area and female and male ones are different because obviously we have slightly different kind of things there (laughs) so different things that need to be protected differently so definitely get a pair of those. Remember to get out of the saddle time to time when you're comfortable and just like kind of let the blood flow to your bum, to that general area, right? So it, again, it's like if you were to lay down on one side or sit down the whole day, like eventually your butt is gonna get sore even if you're not on a bicycle. So it's good to stand up, to stretch out, to let the blood roll around and run through your whole like body. And it's, it's good. So. That would be number four, something to think about and to consider and make sure. And again, that will help you enjoy cycling much, much more long term as well. And number five, let's go and keep it at number five. Um, Definitely think about your water. Always have water bottle on you. Have like 20 bucks if you need it. Have, uh, be prepared basically when you're going for rides. Even if you don't want to start out with having spare tubes or whatever or patch kits with you however I do recommend having patch kits or spare tubes with you because you don't know what can happen what kind of road you can come across with but learn how to change a tire and you will over time it's not actually that hard like in the beginning you might think it's a bit overwhelming but it's not that difficult just just do it and it just becomes becomes automatic after a while uh, but definitely, so hydration and nutrition is something that's very important. So definitely make sure you eat lots and lots of high carb, lots of fruits. Um, I stick with high carb, low fat vegan diet and it works best for me when I'm cycling. And definitely make sure that you're drinking ton and ton of water whenever you're out riding and just in your general life really because hydration is really, really important. Your body is like 70 or 80% water and it's so, so important to stay hydrated, to feel good, to have enough water running through your body, going to your cells. It also delivers ox like just and keep on breathing and take it as it comes. Obviously don't push yourself to be your first ride to be like freaking thousand kilometers right, but over time build yourself up and just enjoy it. Relax. Don't make it into a workout. Make it into something that you enjoy. All right, hope this was helpful and it gave you just a little bit of a hint of where to start, what to begin with, post your questions, uh, comments down below, uh, what kind of videos you want to see, and just, yeah, general questions or whatever you want to say, like, dislike, share, subscribe, and all of that. I hope you're having a wonderful, amazing day, enjoying the beautiful, beautiful weather that we're given. I hope it is beautiful where you are as well. And just remember to stop counting calories and start counting your adventures and your passions, because that's what 
basically life is made out of. Lots of love to you guys. Bye. Bye.